So let's say you have the interest campaign. It's United States, you're targeting all genders, all age, and you have an audience of 54 million. Now you have this pool. This pool is your camping pool. And within that pool, there's a bunch of potential customers. These goldfishers, these are people that are willing to purchase anything within the camping niche. Now what happens is that when you go ahead and run a $5, $10, $20 ad to the 54 million size audience, your ship cannot cover the whole 54 million. It's only gonna cover a small portion. Now that portion will go ahead and get close to the fishers. If you go ahead and with your data, narrow it by age, gender, flex it with interest that you know your customers are highly into, such as say camping flex with some camping brands behaviors and optimizing it for purchase conversion that's big if you optimize it for purchase conversion facebook is automatically going to send your ship closer to where all the fishes are and this will bring you close to your customers now as you can see with one ad you'll get one hook and that one hook goes into that area and as you increase your budget it's just going to go deeper and deeper and search for more fishes in that one area now if you start off with a bad day and you don't get any results within the first say 500 impressions, Facebook isn't gonna take out that hook and redraw and hook it somewhere else. As the day has started, we'll just sort of keep going down and deep, 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 deep into that sort of area. And that's why when you increase budgets on a winning ad set, it could work because you're gonna go ahead and go deep and deep and find more and more fishes and get more and more gold if you're mining. But the bad thing about it is that Sometimes that place is empty and you only want a low budget to know that, okay, that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and duplicate or rerun it and try another place. And that's sort of why when you wait for the next day, the results are different because if the results weren't good the day before, next day, Facebook will go ahead and throw the same hook in a different location. Now having one hook is very slow and you aren't gonna get results fast. So what you should do is have multiple ad creatives and angles and have multiple hooks. As you can see in the image, the ship now has three hooks and it's pointing in different directions. And that's gonna increase your chance of finding fish. And that's sort of how website conversion works. When you optimize for website conversion, Facebook is gonna put your ship near an area that's known to have a lot of fish. Whereas if you go ahead and do PP, it's gonna give you a broader area in a place where it's within the audience, within this sort of black circle of 54 million, but it's not gonna optimize and get you close to fishes necessarily. But the difference is, as you can see, website conversion has a lot of competitors. There's a lot of multiple ships in the same area, and as a result, your CPMs might be as high as like $25. But whereas in the PPE circle, there's not many competitors, and your CPMs might only be like $10. So that's why it's actually better to go ahead and do PPA testing, put your ship into this sort of circle of 54 million, see if there's any surrounding fishes within the PPE market. You'll be able to reach a large amount of audience at a much cheaper price. And then based on the PPE sort of cost per click and the click through rate, you'll be able to know that if this is a worthy interest to go ahead and move your ship into website conversion for that particular interest. So that's why you should actually start with PP testing for all these different interests and then go ahead and the ones that prove to do well, move them into website conversion and that will save you a lot of money.